paste solder has been around for many years now and we've been using it here in the workshop for many years as well. The only drawback that I can see with it is that it is, for the amount that you get, is very, very expensive. Um, so you're very limited to what you can use it on. I've got uh, some gold syringe solder here. These are available in 3 gram and 5 gram and the silver solder here. Now this is only available in a 30 gram tube which to me, although it's a large amount, you will hardly ever get through 30 grams. I know we only get through about half the tube before the whole thing starts to dry up and you can't force it then through the small tube here. Um, so I personally try not to use the silver, it's just not economical. And the main items that we use the syringe solders on um, in the workshop here are chains. It just works out too expensive to, um, to use on large scale soldering, um, such as um, soldering rings for instance, um, putting half shanks on, soldering cracks, resizing rings. It's just too expensive. So the majority of items that we use um, the syringe solders on are chains. Um, it's very quick, very easy, there's hardly any residue to clean off, a quick touch on the polishing mops and you're all sorted. So I'll just show you what I mean and, and how we use the silver solder. I have a silver chain here that we're going to use the silver syringe solder on. We're simply going to lick this chain back together and like all soldering joints we close this link up nice and tight make sure it's nice and flush and a lovely lovely tight solder joint we'll lay it on our block like that and we'll just squeeze a smallest piece out of the syringe. You're going to need a, a tiny, tiny, about a millimetre, millimetre and a half in length. Not an awful lot. Let's just turn my bottles on. A moment. Like that. And we don't need to apply any more flux because there's flux within the solder itself. And when you put the heat on, again, <clears throat> the moisture evaporates, the flux then starts to cover over the joint. Heat it up. Again, it has the same principles as paste. Um, <coughs> sorry, it has the same principles as uh, normal pallet solder. It always flows to the heat, and there we go. That was as simple as that. As you can see, there's hardly any cleaning up to do on that chain, apart from just a pop it on the polish and mop to bring it back to the shine. There's no excess wastage. A millimetre on a size chain like this is all you're really going to need. Again, the solder only needs to flow between the joints, not necessarily along the actual uh, surface. And I'll show you now the same technique with gold. I fibbed when I said we only use it for chains. <laughs> um, I've got a, an earring post I'm going to put on the back of um, an earring and I'm going to use the syringe solder for that. I could use pallet solder but just for the point of this demonstration I'll show you how easy it is uh, to use the paste. So the usual cleaning up is required. Again, you do have to make sure that all your solder joints are clean still. There's no getting away from that no matter what type of solder you use. Back's nice and clean on that, and make sure that the post is nice and clean as well. And 
Again, preparation is everything when it comes to soldering. So we have our pieces laid out here, ready on the block. Again, we've got some of the gold syringe here. We're going to syringe a section right in the middle. And it's the tiniest, tiniest of pieces. How big is that? Uh, one and a half, two mil. That's all you're going to need. And it is a very quick way of soldering. You don't need to use the borax this time. A bit of problems with the old torch this morning. There you go. And the same principles apply. I'll just heat up this main part first. And when the solder and the flux starts to move around, I'll introduce the post. And that's it. It's as simple as that. And as quick as that. It really is that quick and that easy. But syringe solder does have its place. You should use it only on your chains, your fine, uh, your fine wires that you're soldering. Ideal for soldering jump rings. If you've got loads and loads to do, just simply squeeze out the syringe solder onto each joint, bam, 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 along with the torch. Really easy, really quick. Minimum amount of uh, finishing off as well. But as I say, you just use it on your small jobs. It will never replace your borax and your panel solder. Never. If you did want to replace it, it would be a very, very expensive way of soldering. But just leave the syringe solder to the small, minute, delicate, filigree jobs, little fine wire jobs, but keep your borax and your pallium solders for the larger jobs. It's going to save you money in the long term. As I say, the syringe solders are about 50% more than the pallet solders, so it can work out very expensive. So always use these sparingly.